Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Donald Trump has hit out after being convicted on all 34 counts of falsifying business records in his historic criminal trial in New York. He's called the verdict a disgrace and attacked the judge and has found the support of fellow Republicans. It is the first time a former or serving U.S. president has been convicted of a crime. He was accused of falsifying business records linked to a hush money payment made to Stormy Daniels. The Biden campaign said the verdict showed no one is above the law and has urged America to make sure Mr. Trump doesn't return to the White House. Mr. Trump can still run for president despite the convictions. He faces prison when he's sentenced on the 11th of July, but legal experts say a fine is more likely. This was a disgrace. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. They wouldn't give us a venue change. We were at 5% or 6% in this district, in this area. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. But the real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here. You have a Soros-backed DA, and the whole thing, we didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man. And it's okay. I'm fighting for our country. I'm fighting for our Constitution. President Cyril Ramaphosa will not be resigning as ANC leader after what are projected to be bad election results for the party. We quite uh, ANC Deputy Secretary General also told journalists at the National Counting Centre that for now the party was not talking to anyone about forming a coalition. U.S. officials say President Joe Biden has given Ukraine permission to use American-supplied weapons to strike targets in Russia, but only near the Kharkiv region. One official said his team had been directed to ensure Ukraine was able to use U.S. weapons for counter-fire purposes to hit back at Russian forces hitting them or preparing to hit them. Russian forces have made gains in the Kharkiv region in recent weeks after a surprise offensive in the area close to the border with Russia. On Friday, Ukrainian officials said three people had been killed and 16 injured in Russian shelling of a residential building in the suburb of Kharkiv. The Slovakian Prime Minister Robert Fico has been moved from a hospital in the center of the country two weeks after being seriously wounded in a shooting. The hospital in the central city of Banksa Bistrica said he was now receiving home nursing care. He was airlifted to the capital Bratislava and taken home to continue his long road to recovery. The 59-year-old was left fighting for his life after being shot four times at close range in the central town of Handlover on the 15th of May as he greeted supporters after a government meeting. Zambia's former First Lady Esther Lungu and her daughter Kiezo Katete have been arrested over possession of properties suspected to be proceeds of crime. The two were arrested in the capital Lusaka alongside another close relative identified as Charles Firi. Ms. Lungu failed to give a reasonable explanation of how she acquired a $1.5 million estate in the capital. Former President Edgar Lungu said the family would challenge the charges in the courts. Kenya's President William Ruto has said that the private plane he used to fly to the U.S. last week only cost about $73,000 following criticism that he was being extravagant. He said some friends of the country offered it at that price when he had opted to use the national airline to save money. He said there was no way he could have spent about $1.5 million, the figure that was reported to have cost to hire the Boeing VIP plane. But the remarks have provoked backlash, with some Kenyans online asking who the friends are. And the James Webb Space Telescope has smashed its own record for detecting the most distant known galaxy. The collection of stars was spied as it was a mere 290 million years after the Big Bang. It means astronomers have observed the galaxy when the cosmos was only 2% of its current age. Webb used its huge 6.5 metre wide primary mirror and sensitive infrared instruments to make the discovery. The telescope's previous record holder was a galaxy seen at 300. 25 million years after the Big Bang. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.